Hello everyone and welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. In this video we will be talking about a really hard subject that is plaguing our communities. Some women are rejecting the creator and do not see it and some people see it but they think of it as something normal. But it is not. It is abnormal. So let's talk about it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment, like and share the video, it's free. The actions of harlots and whores are destroying our communities. The women need to be better women, wives, and mothers for our communities. If you have not noticed, so-called black women are out of control and have lost their way. As an older black woman, the creator said cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins. Black women have made a total mockery of themselves for the world to see. They have become an embarrassment and a court jester not only to themselves but to the children and black men. The wicked has a lot of our women, hating everything about themselves, their hair which they cover up with wigs and extensions. And they relax and straighten it and as if that was not enough. They dye their hair different colors and it looks normal now but they do not seem to understand that these actions are abnormal. But they do not stop there, they shave off their eyebrows just to paint on new ones. Which makes no sense at all if you actually think about it. Just to look different from the way the creator made them. You would think that would be enough, but no, there is more. They glue on eyelashes, three to five inches long, looking like Betty Boo. Not understanding that those lashes were made for prostitutes. A lot of our women wear entirely too much makeup, have no clue how to wear makeup properly, they cake it on like a mask. Not happy with the way they look the way the father made them. You wish it would end there but it doesn't. The piercings, in the nose, the lips, the jaws, and any other place they can think of. Self-mutilation is a cool look these last days because it is wicked. Women do not understand that their body is the temple. And you think it would stop there. No, here comes the tattoos on the neck, back, chest, face, hands, arms, legs, and stomach, and just about everywhere. Do you not know that tattooing your body is wicked? The Creator said ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Creator of the heavens and the earth. The women think looking like a complete freak show is attractive and good-looking. The black woman's wickedness is out of control and it has become the norm. Then you throw in butt transplants, cosmetic surgery, breast implants. This is not typical women are dying from this wickedness because they are not satisfied with the way the Creator made them. The self-hate is out of control and most of these women cannot see it and think this madness is normal. Women do not like the fingernails that the Creator gave them. They think that buying long fake nails that are not functional and practical is cool and stylish. Now you throw in the tight revealing dresses, pants, shorts and shirts, you have a full-fledged harlot. The world has told them that this is sexy, the wicked has our women lost in this world. You even have some of them bleaching their skin trying to look white, and this is all just self-hate. All these actions are rejecting the creator of the heavens and the earth. You are telling the father that the way he made you is not good enough. That is why the wicked pushes it and puts it out there in their movies, television shows and music videos. The wicked has black women thinking that their own natural self is not good enough. That they have to burn their hair straight to look different from the way the father made them. You can look on the TV, newscast, almost all so-called business, and professional women all walk around with unnatural hair, not happy with their own hair, the way that the creator made us in his image. A man that knows the creator would not date any black woman who burns her hair like that. What these self-hating black women do not understand is that they are actually telling the father that the way he made them is not good enough for them. This is not regular, it is irregular. The wicked wants to keep us in sin. We are the tail in this world and not the head because we are a stiff-necked people. We do not want to follow the creator's laws, statutes, and commandments. All this goes back to self-hate. Just look at the so-called black women. We hate everything the creator of the heavens and the earth gave us and we reject it with our actions, so the creator is rejecting us. We do not want to be wives, we want to be independent from our men. We do not want to be ladylike, we want to be so-called alpha women. We do not want to stay home and take care of our family, we want to be out in this world. Just looking at our women, a lot of them have. No self-awareness at all. Sisters, you need to understand this self-hate is destroying you. You are leaving your marriages 80% of the time, wrecking your homes, promoting fatherless homes. Your self-hate is destroying you and our communities because we rejected the Creator and want to continue living wicked. With our fruitless deeds of darkness, black women are being killed in the streets and in their homes. Black women children 
are being killed in the streets and being killed in their homes. Our black men are being killed in the streets and being killed in their homes. Black women have more health problems now like fibroids and high blood pressure. Black women are five times more likely to die from pregnancy-related illnesses. More black women are suffering from depression and other mental health problems. There are more suicides among black people. Black women are more stressed. More black women are turning to lesbianism. Giving up the black man and becoming independent has led black women into a burning building. We will continue to be the tale. We will continue to be slaughtered in this world. The wicked will continue to receive judgment until we change our wicked ways, until we start following the laws, statutes, and commandments. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, leave a like and a comment. And if it is your first time on the channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and share the video. Until next time.